After months of talking to the community and hearing concerns, the city of Beloit says it has a plan to make the city safer and provide more opportunities for residents. But they say it will take a group effort to accomplish that plan. Valina Jones has more on how the city plans to make it safer. Three years from now, we think Beloit is going to look very different. It's a collective vision that Mark Perry from Community Action, the city of Beloit, and law enforcement have to make a better community. Community that um, has that has open communication at all levels and all channels. Um, people in neighborhoods cooperating with the police department and with the city. Um, youth engaged in meaningful programming. In order to turn that vision into reality, Community Action is developing employment opportunities for youth and engaging students outside of the classroom. At the same time, the city is looking to improve neighborhoods by using funds to make affordable housing and get rid of vacant properties that can attract crime. This will allow us to consolidate our resources, look at the resources that we have in our different areas of expertise and target those resources towards the same issues because we all have the same goals. Partnering together means the group can use funds in new ways, a citywide initiative that starts with a focus on the Hackett and Merrill neighborhoods, areas Downey says need the most attention. It is an excellent starting point because that's kind of the meat of what uh, what uh, our residents are saying the issues are and what our data is showing us. Not only does this answer to the solutions, um, but the community is part of the solution. For police, creating a safer environment means transparency, a commitment the department says involves creating relationships through canvassing neighborhoods, communicating with residents, and focusing on preventing crimes. It's reducing that crime, fear, and disorder to make it a comprehensive and a place that people, you know, love to live. In Beloit, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. Now, the group is still in the planning stage and will need HUD approval from the government before they can move forward. The city hopes to start implementing those strategies at the beginning of next year.